Praise the Lord. Welcome to another edition of Touch of Healing. I'm Pastor Osage Daniel Erabo. And just like, you know, the editions are just about 10, 15 minutes or maybe even less. I just want to share a short word that will build your faith and help you to receive healing. My desire in this program is to bring God's word for healing, divine healing and divine health to everyone watching. Again, you can tell like I, I can that there's too many people, so many people that are sick. And as I'm recording this, uh, there's what we uh, call the pandemic going on uh, all over the world. So many people are, are falling ill and, and thousands are, are succumbing to it. They're dying out of it. But what does the Bible say about these things? And as Christians, how do we stand against sickness and disease? Maybe it may not be coronavirus, maybe other kinds of illness, tuberculosis, uh, hypertension, blood diseases, eye diseases, ear infection. How do we stand against this? Is this God's will? Uh, can we resist it? Is it possible for a Christian to live without sickness and disease? These and some other questions have we have been answering over the last uh, 20 or so episodes uh, concerning touch of healing. Again, I've explained over and over again from God's word, that God's will is that we live in divine health. Jesus Christ said, uh, I've come that ye may have life and have life more abundantly. In first, in third John verse two, he said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospers. So in the next few minutes, we want to look at the scripture that can also help us live in divine health or to receive healing if we were sick. You know, so many times when people are sick, they look out on the outside for someone to pray for them, for someone to lay hands on them, for someone to anoint them with oil. Now, all these things are okay, they are normal, but there's also a lot of power in the very life of a believer. I'm talking about a Christian now. Now, if you are not a Christian, then this may not uh, so much appeal to you or affect you. And it's very simple. You can change that easily. You can get born again. But what I'm sharing today is about eternal life. What does it mean to have eternal life? Now, one of the very popular scriptures that everybody may know if you're a Christian is John 3.16. I don't even have to turn to the scripture to memorize it because most people know it off by heart. And if you're a Christian, you've been in church for many years, you would probably know that verse of scripture too. So let's say it together. John 3.16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Some translation says everlasting life. Now that word eternal life is a very interesting word. Now today many people think that word means a long life. Some means think it means when you die you go to heaven. But if you look at other scriptures like 1 John 5, uh, the Bible makes us see that this eternal life is not something we receive when we die. In short, this eternal life is something that we receive once we get born again. Uh, 1 John 5 says, I write unto you so that you may know that you have eternal life if you believe in the name of Jesus Christ. So eternal life begins now. So what is eternal life? It's the life of God, the quality of the life of God. In short, when you get born again, the Spirit of God comes inside of you when you receive Jesus into your heart as your Lord and your Savior. And He impacts into you and I the very Spirit of God, the very life of God. So Actually, when you are born again, when we receive Jesus Christ into our heart, God now lives inside of us. In short, the Bible says we become the temple of the living God because the Spirit of God is God himself. So how does that affect our healing and our health? If God lives inside of you, it means that the power to heal every manner of sickness and disease actually lives inside every believer, the spirit of every believer. So one way to live in divine health or to be healed is to make a demand from that power inside of you. The power of eternal life can give life to your bodies. The Bible says in Romans 8, it said, if the same spirit, the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead lives in us, that same spirit will give life, zoe, the life of God, to our mortal bodies. Meaning that from the inside of us, Power can come out to heal us. That does not need anybody to pray for us or to lay hands on us. Again, I've said often that that is not wrong to lay hands on people. The Bible says that's one way to be healed. But one of the things that we have to be sure about is that what about if there's nobody to pray for us, nobody to lay hands on us, or we are away from every Christian? Like I was once when I had to go for what you call youth services, like a paramilitary service. There were no Christians around. So what would I do if I were to get ill? So the answer is there is enough power inside of me that is born again to heal every manner 
of sickness and disease. And so as we begin to practice the, and acknowledge the eternal life, the life of God inside of you, that life will begin to take hold of your body and begin to change it from being weak, being subject to sickness and disease into the very kind of life that Jesus lived. Jesus lived and demonstrated eternal life. And once you are born again, you receive Jesus Christ, that same life, Zoe is the Greek word, or if you look at it properly, it's Ionia Zoe, which means a life that is not subject to the circumstances of the time. It's the life of God that you have received. So there's enough power in you that is born again to heal every manner of sickness and disease. And if you are feeling symptoms, you are feeling pain, you are feeling any kind of sickness, just make a demand and pray in the Spirit. Say, Jesus in me, come forward and heal my body now. Power, come upon me and sickness be gone in the name of Jesus. And the sickness will flee. I had, I had someone had a very, very serious heart issue and he was, he was about to die. And a minister was called, actually Brother Kenneth Copeland was called to minister to him. I, I, I heard this from him in one of the programs I attended. He said he put the, the Spirit of God told him to put his finger on the man's chest and say, the Spirit of God inside of you, heal your body now in Jesus' name. And he didn't have to pray, Lord, heal the body. He didn't have to rebuke the disease. He just did what God told him. That the guy was full of the Holy Ghost, was born again, and he just made a demand on the Spirit of God on the inside. And yes, he was healed, completely healed. And what the doctors thought, he could not come out of, come, came out completely well. So if you are watching this and you are born again, I'd like you to know that there's enough power inside of you to heal you of every manner of sickness and disease. Just make a demand and call for that power inside of you and your body will be healed. And if you are not born again, it's very simple. I'm going to lead everyone who is watching that's not born again into a simple prayer. The Bible says that if you confess that Jesus is Lord and believe that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. It's very simple. Jesus came and died for your sin. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how old. It doesn't matter what religion you, are, you have right now. You can turn to Jesus. He is the Son of God. He died and he rose again. He's the only one we know in record that has Never die. He died and, and grows and he's been alive for over 2,000 years. And we know he's coming back again. Nobody else, no other religion uh, uh, has anyone who has done exactly that. And so because we know that he's the son of God and that he has ascended into heaven and is coming back, we know he's the Lord of all. And if you acknowledge that Jesus is Lord and believe that he died for your sin, not just because he wanted to show up, but because he wanted you to have eternal life, and you receive him into your heart, he said he will come and dwell inside of you and give you his very life. And that life is able to heal every manner of sickness, every manner of disease. In short, if you really want to live in divine health, it's not to depend on the external, because those things change. It's to depend on the Spirit of God inside of you. Now, if you if you want to receive Jesus, I'll pray with you very quickly, and then I'm going to be praying for everyone who wants to be healed from any manner of sickness and disease. So let's go ahead and pray. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus for everyone hearing the sound of my voice. Everyone who is not born again, I say, Satan, take your hand off their mind. Take your hand off their eyes. Let the anointing come upon them for conviction, and let them receive Jesus in sincerity sincerity today, even as we pray in Jesus' name. Now, if you want to receive Jesus, you have never been born again, just say this short prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be my Lord and my Savior. I believe you died for my sins and that you were raised from the dead for me. Today, I'm born again. Thank you for forgiving me and saving me in Jesus' name. Amen. If you pray that prayer, hey, you're born again. That's all it really takes. As far as you believe it in your heart and you have made that confession of faith that you believe Jesus died for, you're born again. Eternal life has rushed inside of you. Some of you can already begin to feel different. Now, you don't have to depend on your feeling, but sometimes you can actually feel it. But even if you feel it or not, you need to know, according to God's word, that eternal life now dwells in your heart. And from that eternal life, Power can come forth to heal you from every manner of sickness and disease. So I'm going to be praying for the sick right now. No matter what the ailment is, no matter how long it has been, if you are born again, then know that power is going to come out from your spirit man to heal you. And even if you didn't take that prayer, God still loves you and he can still heal you even where you are, no matter what the pain is. So let's pray. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for your anointing that is upon me and upon each one that is born again. I pray right now that power, eternal life, come forth from inside of them and heal that sickness in the name of Jesus. Satan, take your hand off. Let the yoke be broken. The burden be removed. Let the symptoms cease from this moment in Jesus' name. Be healed from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. I pray for those who are not born again, who are watching this, Satan, I command you, lose your hand in the name of Jesus. Take your hand off their mind. Take your hand off their eyes. Take your hand off their body. So you be healed also from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I can just I can just perceive anointing, the power of God rushing in, coming to you right now, breaking you yokes, removing bodies, lifting you up from that depression, that oppression, and giving you new life. Yes, you can begin to rejoice. Give God thanks. Joy is coming. You know you are healed. Begin to do those things you couldn't do before. Because yes, you are free from that oppression in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Praise God, praise God, praise God. The good thing about this eternal life is that it doesn't only just heal your body, it can actually affect others. So don't be afraid to pray for anybody else who is sick by the power of the Spirit of God that is within you. Again, I'm Pastor Saige Daniel Rabo, and I'm always blessed to bring God's Word to you in this short time. Don't forget, write, um, share this message, write us on, from our email, share this uh, short message with someone who has a need of it, and subscribe or like this button. We will be I like this program. We'll be more than glad to hear from you. If you have a testimony, share it with us. We'd like to share it with other people. I have testimonies. Maybe one of these episodes, I'll share some of the testimonies we have begun to receive. People have been healed, delivered from years and years of bondage. And God is doing a great work. It's just a short time, so we don't have too much time to take too many testimonies. But yes, we will take some. And don't forget, share it, subscribe to the channel, like it, you know, give it to someone. Call someone's attention to it and you'll be helping them stay not only in healing but in divine health. And let's spread the healing power of God faster than the COVID-19 is spreading. God loves you. I love you. And again, I look forward to seeing you in another episode of Touch of Healing. Have a blessed day.